we have a, a neighbor over here in the holly tree that's a mockingbird and he's been working with us the whole time, singing to us and been aggravated at us. And so uh, we've decided to call this piece Free as a Bird, kind of as a tribute to the birds. In a way, it's funny here at Biltmore, you have kind of the hidden public is the enormous staff that you have and those folks were drawn into the making process. We put them to work and try to reignite the memories of childhood so that they know how to work for us. Of course, for me, it was, it was finding a material with which to work and ultimately I discovered it was the material along my driveway and I'll, so now it's a, a urbanization that provides most of the sticks and the, the way that there's a, a moment between cutting the force down and the first foundation going in and oftentimes that, that's the place that we arrive and cut some of the saplings and uh, try to make a imaginative and uh, compelling sculpture from them. I always think a good sculpture is one that causes lots of personal associations and you might think of a bird nest, you might think of birds that you've seen or uh, the turkeys you pass as you come into the, the garden or the indigenous work, basket making, furniture making, and so all, all of those are traditions that people tend to spark on when they take a look at this work. For me it's kind of like a large scale drawing, you know, we're using these sticks for their association with the woods but also uh, for lines with which to draw and many of the uh, exciting surfaces that we're creating are just uh, more or less drawing techniques that we've uh, played out in a large way. We want it to seem like it's whizzing around in the site so the idea of it being a free object, a spinning object, an object that uh, kind of fly off the handle and, and maybe just uh, head upwards you know. <laughs>